Tomorrow is election day and more than 50,000 people are newly eligible to vote in Minnesota tomorrow because of a law that passed the state legislature this year. They are convicted felons who are not currently incarcerated. Fox 9's Corin Hogger joins us now with more on one man who's taking advantage of his first chance to vote and the second wave of a legal effort to stop those votes. Corin? Amy and Kelsey, that new law makes a clear distinction. Felons still in prison can't vote, but as soon as they get out, they can. And that opened the door for the most new voters since the early 1970s when national voting age went down to 18. Eliza Darris knows a bumpy road when he sees one. I'm staring out of my window right now at several potholes. I want to call up one of my elected officials and I want them to hear my voice as a constituent say, Hey, what are you going to do about this? And I want an answer. Darris is serious about his politics. He's worked on several campaigns over the last seven years. But at age 39, he's never cast a ballot. I've never been uh, a voting member in this state. And when you're not able to exercise the power of the ballot, you're not really looked at as a full citizen. Darris was convicted of a murder at age 15. He got out of prison seven years ago, but wasn't supposed to be allowed to vote until 2025. Until the Restore the Vote Act took effect in June, anyone on felony parole or probation was not allowed to cast a ballot. So Darris will cast his first on Tuesday. There is an immense sense of pride um, and relief. Janae Bates was part of a 10-year effort to pass Restore the Vote. She still runs into people who are out of prison and don't know they're eligible voters. But she says a Mille Lacs County judge's recent attempt to block people on probation from casting ballots highlighted the value of their votes. We were concerned that it might have had a chilling effect on voting um, by, from people who were going to benefit from this law. But we, we're also seeing as people realize that, you know, maybe my vote really does mean something. The Minnesota Voters Alliance has also filed a lawsuit to overturn the law, arguing the state constitution requires felons to finish off any parole and any restitution before they can vote again. But that case won't stop anyone from voting tomorrow. Corn Hoggard, Fox 9. And a number of positions will be on ballot statewide tomorrow. In Minneapolis, all 13 wards are up for election with more than three dozen city council candidates vying for a seat. In St. Paul, all seven wards are also up for election with at least four new council members guaranteed because several current councilors are not running again. And this year, voters in St. Paul will also have to answer a tax ballot question. The question is whether or not the city should raise the sales tax by 1% for road and park improvements. There's es that's estimated to generate $1 billion over 20 years. And school board races will be on the ballot for many communities as well. And make sure to stay with Fox 9 tomorrow for all of your election coverage. We'll start with a special election show at 4 o'clock on Fox Local. And then we'll have more on the races to follow during our 5 and 6 o'clock newscasts. And we'll have the results on Fox Local at 8 o'clock. And then the news on Fox 9 at 9 and 10. Mm.